There you are in Blender, wondering how things like books, chairs, houses, or even characters are made. Not to worry. In the next minute, you will understand the basic tools of Blender modeling. To begin, we'll need to enter edit mode by selecting the object you want to change and either using the shortcut tab or using the drop-down menu here. Once in edit mode, all of the movements you're familiar with work the same as they did before, but here, rather than selecting and moving the entire object at once, we select and move parts of that object. There are three different kinds of selection available, vertex, edge, and face, or in English, dots, lines, and squares. If a tool isn't working the way that you see it, check which selection is active in the top left corner. Shortcut is 1, 2, and 3 on the keyboard, not the number pad. You may have also noticed the menu on your left has a lot more options than it did before, which are all ways to edit the object. First in that line is the Extrude tool, shortcut E, used for extending whatever you've selected. Next is the Inset tool, or shortcut I, used for adding a smaller square inside of your selected one, useful for doors, windows, or other such things. If you want to inset multiple faces at the same time, just press I twice. Third tool is Bevel, or shortcut Control B. This cuts edges or faces to be smoother, and you can also use the middle mouse scroll to soften that curve. Next up is loop cut, shortcut control R, which cuts a line between faces and you can change that number of cuts with the object menu in the bottom left corner. Below that is the knife tool, shortcut K, which allows you to draw whatever shape you want by right clicking every time you want a new vertex added and then hitting enter to finish or just escape to cancel. Congratulations, you now know everything you need to make absolutely anything you want. The rest of your time in Blender will now only ever be spent learning how to make things faster and more efficiently. Deuces.